Hey guys, Ammo with Rebel Off-Road. Once again, SEMA 2022 here with my good man, Marco, Overland X. Everybody knows him. They know the tastes. Awesome food, bro. Keep Thank doing you so what you much. do, Thank man. You so uh, yeah, we're here at the James Brown uh, booth and these are some of the most impressive tents I've ever seen. They're, they're awesome. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. You, you use one yourself, right? Yes, I do. I okay. have the Explorer. Okay. Um, and uh, I love that tent. It's just, yeah. it's just, it's just awesome. Well, they look good. Um, they, they seem like they sleep nice. So let's give a little uh, a little tour around this yeah. one. This is one of the newest tents yeah, that they've come the out with. Yeah, this is the Frontier Series. Okay. Is Frontier. the Odyssey. Okay. It's, it's a whole new design. Okay. Uh, new uh, materials. Uh, it, there's even some technology in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, it seems like it's a top-notch setup. I mean, so the first thing that kind of pops out to me is this material here. Uh, what's the story on the it's material? A, it's a tri-layer, so it's a four-season uh, fabric. Okay. And if you close all the windows, you see right now it's open, so you've got 360 degrees uh -huh. of view. Oh, yeah. And if you close it, it's blackout. Okay. A lot of blackouts. So. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You can actually sleep past the sunrise then. Yes. I yes. bet I bet that's enjoyable after a long night around the fire. Yeah. And yeah. the the mattress, this is one of the best mattresses that I've ever tested. Um, yeah, yeah. We were here yesterday and you know, just you know, obviously just kind of pressing down on it, you can easily tell the difference between these mattresses yes. versus any other rooftop tent out there. Um, is and, this and, and the difference is the density. Okay. They they, they found the right density, so right. Yeah, it's just a numbers game, finding yes. the right material, yes. the right density and everything, get you that good sleep. I mean, it seems like a, a, a great, you know, fiberglass yeah, top. The, I mean, the, the ceiling here is made by a company that makes uh, ceilings for vehicles. Okay. For, for, for cars, so you can tell that it yeah. looks like a, like a car. So they know what they're doing then, they obviously. Doing. Yeah, that's and, and, Really they cool. have their signature uh, fan in there, which has a solar panel. Okay. And, okay. Uh, that takes care of uh, condensation. And okay. So for for some of you that may not know, uh, sleeping inside of a rooftop tent, especially in the cold, cold weather, uh, builds up condensation. Uh, you've got warm body heat that's entrapped inside of a little dome. You've got the hot breath that you're breathing all night long. It just builds up moisture and condensation. I don't know, I, I don't care how much you pay for your rooftop tent, you're gonna get the condensation inside of there. So by mitigating that, uh, you know, putting a fan up here, it's gonna extract all of that hot air and just get a little bit of movement around the tent. So this is awesome. Now, how, how is this thing powered up here, Marco? It's, it's a solar panel, it's got okay. a battery. Okay. And uh, while you're driving your vehicle, it's charging, and at night when you get to camp, just hit the button and oh, it's power there. What an amazing idea, you know? It's awesome. And it's I think great. they're about the only ones that do this, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So if you have a rooftop tent with no fan, don't think that because you open the window, you're gonna freeze to death. You need that window open because absolutely. if you get condensation, then you will freeze to death. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, yeah so incredible. I mean, if, in the cold nights, I've definitely woken up with icicles hanging yeah. off of the tent, man. Very, it's very, yeah. it's no fun, but this'll this will help out a lot. Yes. So everything about this thing is, is absolutely amazing. I would love to get my hands on one of these things. Uh, the quality is really what seems to kind of set them aside from the rest of the rooftop tent companies out there. They do a lot of research and yeah. development. They, they do have their their own labs and and, and uh, like the, these are different than the, the old, older model. These are okay. You know they're a uh, new design and it's a better design. And I'll show you the front how uh, how it works. Okay. Um, and yeah. if you see the whole tent, it's got a seal. Oh so yeah, it seals Look at that. Bottom, so you're not gonna get dust in the in the tent because no matter what you're going to get dust, especially yeah. in the desert. Oh, yeah. But this seal uh, will seal the whole perimeter. Yeah, it looks like a nice, uh, nice even little area yeah. right here for the seal to catch on to. Yes. Yeah, just the fit and finish of this tent is second to none. And, and also in the front, the way it latches. Okay. Um, it's got a oh, yeah, special design uh, aluminum profile right here. Okay. That hooks into this. Oh, how nice. This Profile right here. Okay. So, so you have the whole front, it's locked. Okay. And it won't open. <laughs> <laughs> open doors at Seba. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay out of the cars, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't open until you uh, release the hatches like that. Okay. So what I also noticed is a little bit different window up here. So you've got a 180 degree view up here 
Whereas over there, you've got kind of partitioned windows. Well, the thing is, there's a, there's an emergency door back there. So ah. if you open this, okay. let's say that you are you are in the rain. Uh -huh. So you close all your windows, but you still want light. So you got a window it's here. You got a window back here. That's amazing. So, yeah, that's. That's something that's well thought out. Yeah, there's still light coming in the tent, and if yeah. it's raining, yeah. you know, you got a full-size window here. You can still camp in the rain, believe you it or not. not what, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so don't get scared if it's raining and you got a James Broad tent on your vehicle. Oh, yes. You are good to go. I got the older model that uh -huh. doesn't have the seal, uh -huh. but I wash mine with a pressure washer. Really? No problems at all. I don't recommend that for the lower end tents. <laughs> do not use pressure washers on your tent. <laughs> and uh, I believe yesterday when we were here, uh, I was told that it was a uh, lifetime wa warranty on the uh, waterproofing, right? On the waterproofing. So yes. lifetime, it's waterproof. That's incredible. Because it's not a chemical spray there. It's, it's just the way they designed the, the fabric. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Now, wh where where did this this material originate from? Any ideas? I mean, um, like, uh, yeah, they they went to uh, auto manufacturing. Okay. So well, they, they're using the product that that a convertible a convertible vehicle vehicle is, is using. For well, them. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, really. Yeah. yeah. So and it's super it. flexible too. Yeah. You can feel it. It's thick, but it's flexible. It's very thick. It's it's very dense. It's very rigid. You know, you yeah, can yeah. you can tell that it's got some some thickness and yeah. some. Uh, it's a burly material. It's not gonna, it's not gonna flap around more than likely too in the wind like some of those thinner yeah. tent materials do. Yeah, this is a really nice setup. Now this is uh, this is a two-person tent right here. Yeah, it's a standard size. Standard it's, it's, size. It's, it's, okay. Yeah. I want to say it's maybe around 48, 50, 50 inches or so, something like that. Yeah. But for the the bigger guys, you know. Or a family. Or a family. <laughs> so we're over here at the bigger. James Broad tent. This is yes. the, what is it? The, the Exploder XXL. XXL, the big boy. The big boy. All right. So the other one's a two person. You can fit what? A uh, uh, couple the, people? The, uh, the, yeah, a couple people, but they also have an XXL with the, with the Odyssey. The new the model. Other one. Okay. Yeah. So all of them come in that standard size or the or, XXL. Or you get a couple of, couple of adults, a couple of kids, or some dogs, whatever you want to get in there. I didn't know, but I was told by uh, James Broad that they also make a tent for Japan. Mm -hmm. Like for the little chimneys, really it's a small tent. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is really cool. And it's a hard shell and everything. Okay. So. Okay. Wow, that's incredible, man. Yeah, and I love the color too. You know, this this color is super unique. And yeah. and you know these these are custom colors. You can okay. change their color. Okay. You can, you can order a, a custom color. Okay. There's even a pink one out there. Oh it looks my gosh! Pretty awesome. Come on, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that would look cool on the right vehicle, right. I suppose. Yeah, you know, absolutely. not my style, but you know, I think uh, yep. a lot of the ladies out there would love a pink tent. Right. That's for sure. So these are. Is this a standard off-the-shelf color, or do you have to um, custom order it? No, you can get them in gray, okay. black, or white. Okay. And any other color is, a, color is considered a custom color. Okay. There's okay. A little charge for it. I mean, and, uh, hey, you know, with everybody custom painting their yeah. bumpers yeah. and the racks and everything, yeah. I don't think anybody would blink twice about yeah, that one. Absolutely. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, now I noticed down here as well, you've got a little carrying case. This is pretty. This is pretty cool. I love this. So, all that roof space that you just lost by putting this tent up there, you can kind of regain. You get the bag, you put your, you know, your camping chairs or yeah. uh, sleeping bags, whatever. The walls. Oh, yeah, the, the walls. walls. You can put them there. there you go. It, 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 it's pretty okay. cool, yeah. Yeah, a lot of extra storage space up here. And uh, what we didn't go over, too, is that this tent, you can put roof racks onto yes. the, uh, the Odyssey. Odyssey. I'm sorry. Yes. Brand new. Speaking a new language now, so the Odyssey <laughs> has roof rack ability. Yes. There's some little bosses up there that I yes. noticed. And so. it's an accessory. You can put your bikes there, okay. put a, a kayak or, or solar panels. Yeah, or solar panels. Now, James Bro, they, they provide those kinds of, uh, those rails, the, or do yeah, you have to buy yes. them like a, from Yakima or something like that? No, they're a rail that okay. uh, it's uh, from, from them. From okay. James Bro. Fantastic. So you don't have to go searching for right. the right one like some of the other guys out there. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely love it, man. So uh, over here, this is Marco's vehicles. Personal vehicle. This thing's amazing. If you've ever been to an event with Marco, you know he's cooking up some great food and it's, uh, it's a showstopper, that's for sure. So um, you mentioned the walls. So 
These walls do attach onto this awning, correct? Yes. This, okay. These are for these are the this is the Falcon 270 awning. Okay. And uh, the walls is a separate uh, accessory. Okay. This. I mean, why wouldn't you do it though? Especially for a guy like you, when you need that little enclosure and. Or you've been the family, or yeah. your dogs, or you know yeah. whatever. Oh no, for sure, for sure. Well, let's go take a look at this thing and give us a little yeah, tour on the vehicle. So we're inside of the 270 awning here. And I'll tell you, this it feels like a little shelter, like a little right. habitat inside of here with all these walls. I mean, this is, we got tinted windows in here yeah, windows. and You can screens. open them, close them, or solid uh, wall. Yes, yeah, that is it's just an option there. Incredible, I love it, man. Yeah. And uh, you know, this is, this is Marco's rig. This um, is my 392. 392 that we may or may not have uh, had our hands on at one point oh, in time. Oh, you, you know? have. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty proud to work on Marco's vehicle. Actually, when you installed the Terraflex suspension, uh -huh. I didn't notice the frame until I got home. Yeah, we're sneaky like that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put the sticker on and that yes. uh, license yes. plate frame and everything. Yeah, and this is, uh, wow, six point, this is a 392, right? This is a 392, 6.4. So uh, not an issue towing the trailer or anything with this thing, all, huh? Not at all. Oh, that's great, man. So. Yeah. Yeah, this awning right here, it's uh, its mounted up to what rack do you have over here? Okay, I got an ARB uh, base rack. Okay. And um, the, the rooftop then is a James Brood ex, um, Explorer Evo. Okay. It's a standard size for, okay. for two people. Okay. So we got the walls on this awning in here, and I mean, it's it, it just so nice. Now, how do you actually put these things on? Because I noticed it's, it is definitely separate. Yeah. Uh, I love the system because there's no Velcro. There's other systems that just full velcro and it's it's, it's yeah. a hassle but just hang it from this uh from this tube so uh, support okay. support um, tubes right yep yep and they're just like tension tubes tension you like slide tubes them and, and just like lock the, them in the place walls. little cams super, or something like that yeah. yeah and these walls are super heavy too i mean very very durable i mean doesn't look like any of this stuff's gonna tear very easily no, so. and they the bag is a small bag pretty know, small fit behind your Jeep, so okay. that's that's pretty cool. That's nice. Some of those yeah. I've seen, the bags are just massive. It's like carrying two more backpacks yeah. on yes. top of it all. But uh, yeah, I love how it encloses everything here and you got yourself a nice rack on there with the tent up top. Now, yeah. one thing that's super unique that I love about these awnings is this tunnel system. The what's tunnel what's system. going on with this tunnel system, Marco? Okay, that's for the Falcon series. Okay. Um, you can get them in the, in the regular, regular just that's regular awning yeah uh, and also the 270 okay and uh, what they did they have this system that it slides into uh, some uh, plastic profile mm -hmm. and it hangs down and with velcro you attach it to the um, to the awning okay so it's watertight it's, then it's watertight nice if, if it's windy or you know you're never outside you just okay. come down to this area and and you know, it, it's it's pretty awesome. It's a lot it's of pretty, privacy, which is nice. You a know, a lot of privacy. And if you don't using it, you can close this okay this section. So uh, yeah, for example, when you go to the beach, yeah, you know, you you got all your stuff in here. You mm -hmm. don't have to come out when you go to restroom or right. at night or whatever. Just, right. Just, there's, there's privacy. They also have an inside room that really? is that is sealed. It's got a floor. Okay. So. You can have a couple of cuts there, have your kids there. Wow, and, uh, that's crazy. It's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's really, really yes. nice. So the, um, the, how big is that room roughly, is it? Um, it hangs from this. Okay. From this post right here. Okay, from right and here. And it goes all the way there. And wow. it hangs the same way. That's a really big room, actually. It is. You can fit easily a couple of cots in here, no yep. problem, right? Yep. Oh, okay, so as the kids grow, you can grow with this. Yeah. And you have a floor. And you have a floor. So you don't have to worry about bugs or anything like that. Now, is it specific to just this one area? Can you use it over in this um, area? No, it's it's for this area. Just this area. area. What's nice about that, though, too, is when you exit off of your tent, you have a floor, you have an enclosed yep. room as well. Plus, you have an exit door as well. I mean, that's very well thought out. You know, yeah. I, I I can't uh, can't say it enough, but James Murad has really knocked it out of the park with all their ingenuity and their design and their and the ideas. the quality, the quality. I really like the quality of their product. They're second to none. They really are. I mean, if you were to walk up and touch, you know, one tent versus this one, it, there's no comparison at all. So I think they picked an excellent ambassador. And, thank uh, you so much. Thank man. you for doing what you do, man. Keep it thank up, you. bro. Take care. So I haven't even come over to this side of the vehicle because I've been so, you know, consumed with the awning and the tent and everything. You got a shower tent over here, huh? The Falcon Series has the shower. Okay. Uh, cabin. 
which uh, attaches to the roof rack, okay. just like the, the like the awning. Okay. And it's the same the same fabric. Right. And so it, this this is this is a game changer because you yeah. got privacy there. You have shower, toilet, or whatever nice. you need. That's amazing. You know, it's got a window that you can <laughs> open. Sunroof, you can yeah. shower in the rain. Yeah, and watch the stars for your shower. You can see the bears when they're coming at you. Through the there you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know where you're going to go after the bears coming at you. Well, but, hey, well you, know. you can go in, inside the... You, oh, you can't actually go in, huh? You can go in the Jeep. He's got oh, an access. Quick access for bear protection. For bear protection. <laughs> or if you're naked, taking a shower, you can go in the Jeep. So. They just they keep yeah. impressing me more and more, man. That's awesome. We're going to go and let you shower then, Marco. I'll leave you alone here, buddy. <laughs> Pass me the beard oil. <laughs> awesome.